Hello and welcome everybody to Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. CBBB. CBBB? It's way better. Here we are in episode two of season two, where we actually have a tie on the leaderboard. Between Kimber, Lee Lee, and Abby Mondin, both tied with 18 points. Though, the guys in the back have informed me that the biggest pull yet is in this set. I am very excited about that. We are continuing the box from the last episode. We have 26 more packs to open. We told you guys that after we got to uh, 50 or higher patrons, we'd start breaking it into tiers, uh, into multiple episodes, and that's exactly where we're at now. So uh, this episode, we we're gonna have these 26 packs. So if your name isn't called in this particular episode, and not to worry, there will be another episode in the month of October. And if anyone needs a refresher, Here's the rules. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. As ever, we need to figure out what today's type advantage is going to be thanks to the wheel of energy. Oh, are you ready? Eyeball energy, eyeball energy. Oh, water! water! All right, you know what I'm gonna do, Ben? Hold, please. I put Vapor in here, so we don't I, forget. Hey, hey, team water. There you go. Very exciting stuff. The next thing we need to determine is what this week's randomly chosen common chase cards will be. Yes, we pre-selected them ahead of time, and this week they will be... Wormpool. Not Wumple, as Not you instructed Wumple. me, yeah. which is going to be the number six card out of the set. Also, Polywag, Ooh. which is the number 30, set, 30 card out of the set. And finally, the uncommon representation is going to be coming from Medicham, aka the number 100 card out of the set. The exciting thing about that is that Polywag is a water type, and that's the type advantage. So anytime you see... Uh, so the polywag could potentially be like scoring big points. That is, that is very exciting. Yeah. That, uh, two <clears throat> points for every polywag. On that note though, are we ready to break into today's box? Absolutely, we are. Today's first patron is Emerald Phoenix. Emerald actually had a great <clears throat> start to season two with 14 points on the board currently uh, with the leaders only at 18 points. So absolutely in striking distance at the moment. If he gets four or more points, I will put Emerald in the top spot. All right. Here we go. Can he do it? All right, Emerald, here is your pack for the day. Oh, I'm excited. It feels like four points is very possible. It does. It absolutely feels <clears throat> like that is close enough. And this is what I think is going to be really fun about this show is that as you get further episodes into the season, uh, we know so much more about the specific standings. So like it can make a particular contestant like an underdog or an overdog. Right. You know, or in this case, in striking distance with uh, oh, unfortunately not, not gonna have type advantage on the day. <clears throat> oh, but the, already a water card. There's a water card, so that's a point. Right? That's oh, the, the duck lit, lit. that's another, another one. Yep. Oh, and a third on. point. Ooh, what is going on here with this? This, this is, is a little bit different. So the uh, colorful blue, pink, and purple clouds you might see around some cards are for the lost origin, or the uh, lost zone mechanic in the game. Any card that has that will probably send a card to the lost zone in some way. Okay. This is also a rare though, so it is another point as well. It is another point right there. And, and uh, the Rhyperior. So, so actually though, uh, that Emerald should, Phoenix is a, it looks like a five point pack. That's a five point pack right there. So Bam. that will put Emerald at 19 points in the lead. Into the lead. We I got a new expected. leader. Wow, what an early strike. We have a new, yeah, leader on the leaderboard. Well done to Emerald. Not a particularly like impressive looking pack, but a high scoring pack. And you know what? At the end of the day, that's what truly matters. It does, you know, it's those points that, uh, that add up, bring you to the lead. We'll see though. Next up, we have Allison. 
okay. who was coming into the day with just three points. So let's see if Allison can get uh, a little, like a, an even bigger pack than Emerald. I know, I know. One of the fun facts about Allison, I love this about her. Yeah. Big fan of the color purple. Big color purple. Yeah. yeah Everyone yeah. needs to. Uh, you, so I feel that. like if, when Eyeball Energy is the type advantage for the week, you gotta watch out for Allison. You gotta watch out for Boom. Time. Oh. Only bringing grass to the table today, though. Let's see, we got the toolbox, the Hariyama, the Arc Phone, Slugma. And no water types in this no one. No water at all after three in the last oh, one. Oh, but there is one at the end. There is, well, oh, it's the Politoed. Wow. So that is gonna be uh, a two point pack for Allison. Uh, gonna bring her total to five over all. But so. we know we know Allison's really waiting for the Eyeball Energy Week. So right. th this was, we. I mean, Maybe not the highest performing pack ever, but like expected, expected you know, like right. fell within normal parameters. Yes. Yes. So there you go. And either way, five points, still a good showing as far as this game goes, because it's hard to get points. There you go. Anyway, next up, Moss Twig. Moss Twig. Coming into the game with only two points on the season so far. Let's see how we can do for you here, Moss Twig. Now I'm curious, because the guys in the back had mentioned oh. that there'd be a new leader this week, but I don't know <laughs> if they, what they were referring to Was Emerald Phoenix. Emerald Phoenix taking right. over bright and early. Right First away. First pack. Yeah. First pack. Oh, and we got a fire, fire energy. energy. And I saw the Wormple in there, so we know that's coming. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Yep. Lost City. There's the there's Wormple. There's the Wormple. That's the point. Yep. So there's a point right there. And look at the horsey. Horsey is a point. Give you a point. Just for being the water. water type. And oh, I think I see something back uh -oh, here uh -oh. with the flourish in three, two. Oh, the Zoroark! Oh man, this is one of my favorite cards from the set. It is super fun to play with this card. It is, uh, it's. I, I would say it is really, really competitive. People are putting it at like maybe the third or fourth best deck right now. But uh, it's really fun. You try and put lots of damage on your own bench. The more damage you have, the more damage the Zoroark does. Ben, how much is a Hisuian Zoroark V worth? It is worth $2.37. Round it up, we'll give you three points. Plus two more. Plus two more. That's five points today for seven on the season for Moss Twig. And so a really cool card. A really cool, way. very pretty, competitive card headed in your direction. Nice, awesome. Well done, Moss Twig. Next up, we have Stacy, who is coming into the day with three points. We All can right. do this. We can, we do, can it. do this. You got it. Think track double digits. I, you know, a seven, I mean, that's a, that's a seven point pack. So that's a be, big, it's a heavy hidden pack for sure. It's a big ask, but let's see, maybe they get the, oh, oh. the lightning energy. No type advantage for Stacy. Let's see what we got there. The Relicant, the Lost Vacuum. No water cards at all so far. Ooh, Ooh. the Rose right. Oh, and there's something behind it as well. Okay, so, so we got Trainer Gallery and something else. And? Ooh, the Enamorous V. Enamorous is one of those Pokemon that uh, I feel like is universally disliked. Oh my gosh, no kidding. <laughs> uh, fun fact. However, you still get two full art cards. Let's see how they stack up. I don't think these are gonna be super high point scoring, but they are really beautiful. Yeah, the Roserade is gonna come in at 70 cents, so that'll round you up to a single point. Yep. And then also number 82 is what you're gonna have with the Enamorous. 45 cents, so mm -hmm. two points on the pack, but two full arts, which is very exciting. That is exciting. So really nice looking pack. Unfortunately, only the two points in there brings your total to five on the season thus far, Stacy. Next up is Tempest Blade. Tempest Blade. Yeah, what do you got for Tempest Blade here, Ben? Tempest Blade is obviously just incredibly fierce. Very competitive, you know? Yeah. Um, Known to be a bit of a, a bit of a brawler, bit of, bit of a lion. There I say. Oh yeah, oh, there you go. Bit which of a, actually, yeah. I can tell you something fun about Tempest Blade here is that amongst their favorite Pokemon are Luxray, Pyroar, Lucario, and Entei. So, bit of a theme of like big cat Pokemon so in there. So <laughs> let's let's see if the big cats come through uh, <coughs> for see. Tempest today with the turn. Oh, oh look, I said brawler before. You fighting did. Fighting energy. So maybe you've got the better uh, read of them. It's a it's a good omen. It's a good omen. Let's see what else we got There's here. Water. There's a water type, so that's yep. one point for you. Another the horsey, water. That's another Bam. water. There's two yep. points. Three, Three points. points. All right, we got the Litwick there. And, oh, the oh, Comfy. Com Actually, we the might want to look this one up. Comfy yeah. is extremely competitive. This is the new engine in the game. Most decks are running four of them. They are 
everywhere and as such might actually have a few extra points to go around. And in fact, they do at $1.96. There you go. For what is a not terribly exciting looking card. It's a very competitive card. Yes. So uh, a, a decent little, uh, well, not a very good roundup, but still get you up to two points on that. Plus the three water types will bring you to five on the pack. Five on the pack, seven on the season. Well done, Tempest Blade. You've at least got a really competitive card coming your way. Now, of course, don't forget, there are a couple of other new game mechanics that we have introduced for season two, which is the fact that there is the last place award, there is the quality eighth place award, and of course, the Big Steve award, uh, which is dedicated to our good friend, Steven, who helped us uh, inspire this very show. Anybody who comes in any of those respective places or is the number one person in front of Steven will also win an elite trainer box at the end of the season. From Lost Origin. From Lost Origin. Uh, and as a, just a general reminder, first place will get an entire booster box from the Lost Origin set. Yes, so you get an entire box of this coming your way. Plus, if you came in first place, chances are you also got a pretty good some, card along the way. It's a pretty good pull. <laughs> so uh, as ever, the rich get richer, as they say. As they say. You know. <laughs> anyway, next up we have Brent coming into the season with three points. Let's see, oh, I already see at least one water card in here. So they got at least one extra bonus point coming their way. But we'll see if they can get to that water energy, which we have not seen today. Boom, oh, another brawler, another, another brawler. Bra another brawler, let's see how ready, ready, for, ready, ready for a fight. Let's see how scrappy though. That's a really good card right there. Come on, there's the, That's a point. There's yep. the Vasculin. Yep, Makuhita. We haven't seen the many champ at all yet. On the, oh, the oh, Radiant Steelix! That's very pretty cool. cool. Very fun. And the Stone Journey. So three scoring cards on there. We need to look up the Radiant Steelix. That might be worth an extra point. Uh, it is worth 67 cents. We're oh. up to a, just to a single point. So three points on the pack. All right, that's the second three point performance in a row for Brant. And uh, he is up to six on the season. I feel like Brant is basically just trying to get ahead of steam, you know? Just like calm, cool, collected, steady, consistent. He's got that like football mentality. It's just, you just need three yards every play. That'll get you to the end. That'll get you down the field. Yeah, exactly. There. Right, I guess you need four on one of those. Anyway, next up is Kernak. Kernak! Kernak. Kernak is a brand new patron, so uh, they don't actually have any points on the season just yet. Doesn't mean you can't get into the lead, though. That's true, that's true. Yeah. It's like, we we talk a lot, I mean, like, the Emerald Phoenix in the top spot right now <laughs> with 19 points, but the thing is, is that there are plenty of cards in this set that are worth well over 50 well points over, yeah. just in one single card. So, at any point in time, it is capable of, of striking distance, and that being said, there are lots of slots left available over on Patreon if you would like to sign up and have a uh, pack open for yourself, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Oh, but let's see uh, here. So uh -oh. we got the dreaded, the dreaded V-Star, so no so potential type advantage so No type Brian. Advantage. However, that doesn't mean you can't have a good card. We've seen it before. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh my god! <laughs> it's not looking so hot. Oh wait, is that a rare? That, that is, is a rare, rare. so okay. at least a point there. And oh! oh! The Zoroark V-Star, the last set! Oh Holy my gosh. Cow. So we saw the Zoroark V. This evolves from that. Uh, you're gonna, you probably need about four of each to play a competitive deck. That is an awesome looking card. I can't even tell you. Ben and I have probably opened seven boxes personally. Have not pulled this card once. So uh, very good exciting luck. to good see job it. To you. Very yeah, exciting to very see exciting it. Yeah. To see it. Let's see how it does on the leaderboard, which it's actually is not bad. Yeah. Uh, it's going to come in at six dollars sixty three cents value wise. So rounds so, up to seven. So plus the Arcanine is plus eight. Eight points on wow. the pack. Very impressive. Very impressive pack. Honestly, I feel like normally I can like I can like tell if there's like something hot sitting back there, and I was like. This is, this is a dud like, pack, there's bag. not a lot it's going on. Good. <laughs> Which is hilarious because when it comes down to it, like having water type Pokemon in your single booster pack, it's usually not that exciting, but today it's extra exciting and therefore <clears throat> impacting the way that I, you know, yeah. look at a pack, there, look, you, there go. you go. Zorog V-Star, man. Great card. Next up, we have Zero Four Twelve, another brand new patron on the day. So another uh, zero points coming in here. But as we've just seen, doesn't mean you can't immediately make an impact on the field. Not to mention, it, even if you do find yourself in that that you know quality eighth place, the Big Steve Award, last place. There's lots to play for. Lots there's to play lots for. to play for. Oh, oh no, water type advantage at all present today. Let's see what we got. Four, zero, four, 12. Or 12. Well, there oh, we there, go. There's oh, a there's, polywag. That's a two point card right there. There you go. As we know, the Lost City and. 
Oh, a Cramorant! So there you go, that's gonna be another two point card. There you go, so- And actually we should look up the Cramorant because this we, is another really competitive card. You are absolutely correct. Number 50 in the set. It is a little bit higher oh, for it, but it's not quite breaking the scale the at 95, 95 cents. cents. So it's still just gonna be one point plus the extra for being water. That applies to both of them. That is a four point pack. Next up we have Megan Stevens. Megan! Coming. And let's see here, fun fact about that Cramorant we just opened, it was the uh, winning attacker card in the uh, Peoria Regionals this past. There we go! And won, won the whole event. So great for uh, your, your fantasy Pokemon yeah, league. Yeah, great for your fantasy Pokemon league, right? Who has Cram? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh my oh, gosh! The eyeball energy! The beloved eyeball energy. If it were but last time. Oh my gosh. But it is not. Ooh, the Poliwhirl. The Poliwhirl, yeah, yeah point. get you a point. The Wurmple. The Wurmple's a point. Oh, that's a point. One of our randomly chosen common chase cards for the day. The horse is a point. Oh, oh the, the Parasect! Oh man, I doubt that's worth more than a point, but as we all know, we love Parasect here at Super Carlin Brothers as Pokemon's least favorite Pokemon. We're making a difference. And this is another great example of the ways we've made a change because now it has a full art card I, in no, the latest I know. set. Had to be us. It, I'm pretty sure us. it was us. All right, and let's see. Yeah. Oh, and, oh, and a Glastrier, uh, okay. which we should look that up. It's at very least um, gonna be a two point card. Because, because of the water it is type. the water type. Yeah, let's double yeah. check though, just to be safe. So a minimum of five points being scored. We should look up the Parasect and the Glastrier. Okay, so the Glastrier is going to come in at 26 cents. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, so, that's so just still, the... It's a two-point card because yep. of the water type. And then the Parasect is going to be the, the number one in the trainer gallery, which I do... It's at 88 cents. Ah, uh, so, so close, like, so close. Also rounds up just to a single point there. So uh, it's a six-point pack. There you go. Man, you got the Parasect. I mean, that's bragging rights right there. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. You have a full art parasect. That's been opened on camera. On camera. On the internet. Yeah. We're By the people who are making a difference for parasect. All right, next up is Lauren Brinsfield. Let's find out how Lauren's gonna enter the game. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like Lauren's got like, got game. I, so? I could hear the knuckles cracking from, from afar, here. like, like, all right. Oh, well, at least no type advantage because oh, we have the V-Star card, unfortunately. Disappointing. Let's see, though, we're starting with the Sviper. this. I want our legacy as, oh, there you go, that's a there point you go. There, there's yeah. a point on the Finneon. Oh, a Paris! So adorable. Oh, Ooh! the full art Nessa, that is awesome. This is a really good card to go with a uh, water decks. Nessa's the gym leader for the water. Uh, Jim in Galar, and look, we have a rare Kingdra, so that's at least two points. At least two. We'll double check yeah, it. Double, we'll double check, it, just check to be sure. it for you. But yeah, the Trainer Gallery Nessa, really cool. Let's be 17 cents. 17, so that's just the two yeah, point so card. Just the two points. That's three, and, and then, then what's the Nessa? Let's see, that's Trainer Gallery number 27. So that is going to, wow, that is an $11.31 card. 12 Rounds point up to card. 12. So plus 12. Yeah, 13, 14, 15. 15, I told Whoa. you, I told you. Did I not tell you? You said cracks, knuckles were being cracked. Knuckles were being cracked. You were right, you were right. Man, wow. look at that. That is an amazing looking card. I, we have also not pulled this one at all yet in-house either. So well done. How fitting too that it goes well with water decks. Yeah. With water being the type advantage for the week. Right? It's like, I can tell. There's like, there's something know. weird. Whenever we get these V-Star packs, it's like, oh, there's no type advantage, but it seems like there's like some extra magic in those Maybe, packs. maybe. So maybe instead of being disappointed with the with the V stars, uh, we'll be we'll be excited. But in the meantime, the thing that I'm most excited about is adding to the legacy that it is exciting to get your energy card. Yes, like what it is matters. Right. Um, okay, so we have Hyrotis up next. New patron. New patron. Let's see what we can do for you, Hyrotis. I mean, if you come in anywhere near as hot as Lauren, we're looking good. Still no many cham yet today. No many cham. Very uncommon card apparently. Can we get no water energy yet? Oh, either? oh, oh there it is! is. There oh it my is. gosh! What a great just comes in guns blazing so with that at, water energy. At absolute bare minimum, two point pack. Absolutely. So yep. let's see. So all other water types will be there's doubled, the which is though. there's two there's points two for points. an Obama yep. so right there. Oh, oh, the the Wurmple. Okay, That's so be four points. Yep, there we go. The Machoke. Machoke. And what do we got in the back there? The Macargo. It's looking oh. like a six 
point pack, Six point right? pack, I believe. Yeah, one, yeah. two, three times two. It's gonna be a six point pack for Hyrotus. Welcome to the game, welcome to the board. Not a bad use of the multiplier, though. No. I mean, otherwise a three point pack. Six is pretty competitive in the current field, so. Could, yeah, I mean, it's also putting you probably somewhere around like the Big Steve box as well. I think it's always possible. Yeah. All right, next up, big crowd favorite. It's a uh, strange hamburger. Strange hamburger. It comes in uh, with just three points. From episode one. Okay. From episode okay. one, yep. So returning returning player this time. So they got a three point cushion there. And uh, we gotta love strange hamburger because they've been watching STB since they were 12. 12! That's crazy, I, know, I don't know how old they are now. So That's, maybe they're 13 or I know, yeah, 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 it's like a whole year. <laughs> One whole year. You know what, at that age, I mean, that's still like 8% of your life, so. Right, that's true. <laughs> I mean, not nothing. Eyeball energy. One of my favorites. You love to see it, yeah. you love to see it. The arc phone, all right. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's oh, the, the first Medicham, Medicham. okay. That feels good. That does feel like a, it feel it feels like, like a, a good fortune. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do know in what a, you're saying. In a Zor no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I got another How many one. puns can you get out of this pack? Okay, there's the Snover, yep. the Mine Shao, and the Spirit Tomb. Okay, so that is going to be a good three point pack for the strangest of hamburgers. Uh, that's going to bring the total to six on the season. Well done. Cards coming your way. Next up, Ben, Abby. Abby. Abby uh, coming into the day was a pack leader with 18 points. Oh, you're points. right. This was. So, so it stands to reason because she's only losing by one point now. Only, right. And so, you must score a single point. So right. at the very least, Abby should bring herself back um, to tied with first. At, at absolute bare minimum. Bare minimum. Um, but, and we know that Abby is a big heavy hitter too though. So I mean like always yeah. swinging for the fences. That's, I mean, a lot of times that can be a, a pro, it can be a con. Yeah. Well, Abby is also, I mean, she's kind of doing it all right now. She just, has, she has a five week old at home. You're kidding as me. As long as a five year old. So that's a lot of work, you that know. Is, that is a lot of work. You're Congratulations. Kids, you're pulling cards on the internet, doing it all. All right, you ready? Can yes. we get that water energy? Can we do it? Oh, oh we sure can. The we metal. sure can. All right, okay. let's see. Uh, Riley, mm -hmm. our video editor who's been immortalized. Uh, Nuzleaf, which mm. is inspiration for the Nuzlocke challenge in part. Go. I'm just trying to think of things to say. Pseudo Wudo, a card that has uh, grown uh, to my fancy. Has it? You like Pseudo Wudo? Well, there's just been a lot of them lately. <laughs> I think last set and this set, there's been a big Pseudo Wudo. It's weird person, how Pokemon so. picks like certain uh, like cards that are like always they're like very present in the card game, like set after set. Abby's gonna like slam dunk this uh, here. I you think. think so? I think, uh -oh. I think that you there's got something? hang on, hang on, hang on. So the Dotler. Oh the Dotler. No. Is the Abby Dotler. about to pull a massive lead here? Three. Two, go! Oh, oh, it is the Rainbow Thornton! Oh my gosh, Abby is crushing it this season! Very impressive. Wow, Man, literally, literally nothing else in the pack. Classic. I feel classic like you had Abby. words about Thornton last. Never heard of him. Ne never, never, never heard of, heard of, heard of him. him. Don't know who he is in the games, which is surprising. Um, but uh, there he is. Let's see what the Rainbow Thornton is. I lost to this card this past weekend. Uh, unfortunately, it was my only loss on the day. In tournament play. In okay. tournament play, yeah. Let's see, so Thornton Secret Rare is going to give you uh, $5.86, rounds up to six points. Uh, That's good enough for the lead, Ben, and 24 is... points on the season. And you know what, if nothing else, you get this awesome rainbow rare art card. Look at the circuitry like art I happening know. in the back yeah. there. Yeah, there's, there's just like a lot going on. The Pokemon company has done an amazing job of Man. like really making these hollows. Uh, scaled up from what they were when we were kids. I cannot believe Abby goes in here and pulls that. I mean, regardless of the value of it, it's it's a uh, a very rare card to pull. Yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's, it's like in the pull. secret rare category. The pull rate is not going to be high. Congratulations, Abby, well on your cards, on your family, and all the rest. Yes. All right. Let's see. What do we got next? We have Brooke, another Brooke. brand new patron okay. in the game here. It's exciting to see so many new patrons arrive. It is. Yes, uh, Brooke uh, used to collect Pokemon cards, but decided to start again because of CBBB. Huh? You're calling it the thing. Well, sort of. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they wrote CBQ. Well, they did. Yeah, that's what that's what it says on my card here. It, it only occurred to me that you're calling it CBBB in retaliation, not in support. <laughs> 
Uh, I was got, like, oh, he ran yeah, on it. You got there eventually. All right, Brooke, can you get the water energy? No, no just fire. Almost the exact opposite. Almost, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see how we go here. Amber Palm. Oh, we do have a nice little bonus uh, water Pokemon there. Another. Uh, another okay. The two point pack, the Bronzor. Uh, do we see something? Oh, there's oh a that's a. It's a two-point card right there. The Panic Mask, I do see something sneaking back here. Ooh, it's the full art Drapion V. Very cool. Basically the Mew Slayer, as it were, uh, in the current format. And it's the full art, so it will be a little bit more valuable. $4.21 rounds up to $5, plus two for the Poliwag will get you to seven. The Ducklet, the Obama Snow will get you Damn. to nine. Nine. Nine turtle <laughs> points. <laughs> oh, math, math, math. <laughs> There you go. A great Brooke. pack all the way around. Way that to go. That is. That We're, is really good. We've had like some nice pulls. There, out this of is the a good end. box. Do, yeah. we, do we remember if the front end of this box had been a little like It was not luster? great. It yeah. wasn't great. Okay, <laughs> it turns so out. It turns out everything was still in the box. That's good. Yeah, I would feel bad if we like pulled the secret rare right away and then I was like, well, here's the rest of the box. Right, I know. Yep. Anyway, next up is Doe coming into uh, the day with four points on the season. I got you today, Doe. Yeah. This is, it's a really fun to pull uh, cards for Doe here because uh, she doesn't know anything about Pokemon. You know, but sometimes, sometimes you can just read the energy in the room. You know, it's like, I feel like this yeah. happens with my it's wife when I'm like here. watching, wait, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm watching football, it's like, I think that she'll get excited just simply because like she can tell I'm like, right. you know, on edge and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, okay, okay, okay. Got the, got the leaf energy. Right on the front or grass. grass. Uh, I always want to call it leaf because like, why would it not have a grass? Well, it's the card game even mixes it up more because like in the game you would call it steel type, but in the card game it's metal. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. so I don't know why they do that. Oh, you got a Paris. A beautiful Paris. You a get, beautiful Paris. You get Paris. the J points for the Paris. There you go. There's Basculin's Basculin. a point. Yep, that, absolutely. And top the Jinx, the that jinx. is not a rare. And, and oh, the oh, Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Wow, well you hate to see it, but that's just a two point pack for Doe there, bringing you to six on the season. But you get a Paris and the J points, so. And, and you know what, you can just take those. Look, you and, might not know a lot about Pokemon, but Paris is great. And J points are, it's like, I mean, people will accept J points anywhere you go. Right, like, you, can you can spend just, those. You can spend them, they won't get you anything. They're not gonna get you anything. But you can spend them. You can, you can pay four stuff with them in exchange for zero value. Exactly, exactly. exactly. All right, next up is Mots. Coming into the season with three points right now. Let's see. Let's see how they do. Uh, you know, mid-season here. I, th I think. I think. Good. Good feelings from Ots. Yeah. Good feelings from Ots. I, I see at least one bonus point already on the back end. Certainly here. due for a big pull. We're also due for another water energy. Oh, oh you love to see it, Mots. Well done. Well done. All right. So we have the two times multiplier in play. We have the Kamala, the Toolbox, the Hariyama. Oh, there is the Shellos. That's worth two. That's for two. Bam. Oh, the Ducklet's worth two. Also worth two, so we're oh. at four. Mirage Gate, really competitive card. Uh, works with the Lost Zone, not rare. Uh, and the Malamar. All right, so Still that's gonna be- six points on the day. Six points, that's double what you earned last time. Mas. So picking up the pace, picking up the pace at this yes. rate, what would the, the Fibonacci sequence get us to here, you know? What? <laughs> of like 24 points next round? Yeah, I think it'd be 12 points next round. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. Clearly so. my math is just A game today. You can get up to, you'd be at 21 points, which I think would at least tie you. No, it wouldn't tie you because Abby pulled the, the rare Thornton. So anyway, uh, next up we have Jordan D coming into the day with four points. Looking to extend that lead. Looking to pick up a big pull. It does feel like a dense pack. Oh. It feels it feels dense. You got the Ben density. I know the the, the density. density. Yeah, we got there. Yeah. We got there. And boom! Oh, oh wow, well, we've been weird to get two in a row, but it's it, not never happened. It's not never happened. Mm -hmm. All let's right, see. let's see what we got here. Oh no, I'm starting to I'm starting to doubt myself. There's uh -oh, a Squovit, Glagar. Okay, oh, okay. Polito. So that's that, that's yep. Is Actually, it two points? It's two yeah, points. It's two points because yeah. it's a rare. And, and oh, the electrode! Oh my gosh, Ben, you were right. The Ben City call was spot on. There we go. There it is. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you guys how frustrating it is. What kind of cards you're pulling from this box? Because as I said, we've opened six or seven boxes just personally. Have not pulled the electrode 
at all. But yeah, but okay, so our, our full art, Hisui and Electrode V, is gonna come in at $8.47. So that's nine, and then plus two more is gonna bring your points to 11 on the day, which means 15 overall points on the day for Jordan D. Incredibly strong pack. Yeah, yep, what's really yep. fun about the Electrode is that it works with the Parasect specifically. There you go. I feel so. like this is like another one that has like good possibility for quality eighth place positioning. Yeah. You know, like that's a that's a good position to be in. It could also, you never know where the big Steve is gonna land either. I know, that's another one where like, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that like, there is a world where big Steve can just win. Can just win and then no one gets that. No one would get the, uh, Points. I know, so really best, well, the best case scenario for someone else would be Big Steve coming in second. Right, that or is the best case scenario. The best case scenario for Steven himself, of course, just comes in first, then he would probably collect the ETB and the booster box. This is true, this is true. So we can't have that, people. You need to beat at least Steven. Next up we have John Borg coming into the day with six points. Competitive for competitive for round one. It is. Six it's, points. It's a I mean, solid cushion. We had two people tied for first with 18. So this yeah. was this was like a strong place to be in coming out of episode one. Right? Let's see what we got. Boom! Oh, wait. Did I do this wrong? I did. Oh, oh no. no! I counted it wrong. So that's your rare card. Oh, oh there you go. That's a, <laughs> there we sad go. face. Sorry about that. Uh, my bad. Doesn't mean we might not have more fun stuff in here. The horsey is gonna score. The shellos is gonna score. The poor guy and the Snorlax. Oh, that's also gonna score. There All we right. go. So still four there points. There you go. Four point pack. Amazing. You know that brings you to ten points, and it does feel like ten could like be enough to like bridge a gap with a big pull. Goodness gracious, I'm so glad that it wasn't like a truly remarkable pull and you just like, with no flourish whatsoever, no flourish, just, just like, it's like, boom, mirror's card in the set. Oh yeah, that would have been insane. I would have blown my own mind. Gosh. Apparently the rarest card in the set, I think we were looking at pull rights the other day, is a surprising one. It is the Alt Art Galarian Berserker V, which has like the lowest pull rates. I'm not sure it's the most valuable one, but it is it's the hardest the one to pull. Yeah. Yeah, and it is a really cool card. And actually has like, he's like counting money on it. So it's sort of like maybe like a wink, like, uh, oh, it's yeah. rare. Um, anyway, next up, Dakota. Dakota. <laughs> Only two packs last time, so hopefully we can do a little better for Dakota this go around. We'll have to wait and see. Only two points. What did I say? Two packs. Two, oh, I'm sorry. Apologies. Yeah. Math is wrong. Words is wrong. Fun fact, guys. If you want to hang out with Dakota and me and Ben, you can do that uh, at the one of the higher tiers on Patreon. We do gaming every month for an hour with people at that tier, and uh, Dakota is part of that. He can play uh, Rocket League with us. It's a hooting and hollering good time. <laughs> it really is. We are not good. <laughs> okay, Dakota, let's see what we can do for you here with the flip and... Oh, no okay. water energy. No, just, no time to advantage. I know. I feel like Dakota's been been like, you gotta get me some better cards. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. We're doing our best. We're doing our best. Okay, There's so the, the, the one point there. The one point there. And that is and another that's rare. Second point. Oh, and the Arcanine. And so the it's Arcanine. a three point it's pack. It's a three point pack. You so know, better than last time, but just barely. <laughs> <laughs> Better oh. than two, but not by a lot. Sorry, Dakota. We are up to uh, five points on the season for you. Uh, maybe I. It wouldn't even surprise me if you scored that many points on us in Rocket League, though. That is very Next true. Time. But sometimes, you know, this is the other thing too. Is there's always that like potential energy that starts building, and the longer it's gone without a big pull, the more likely it is for it to happen. And this <laughs> is not how math works, but it is how my brain thinks it works. It's not how. It's certainly not how uh, Abby is treating math at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But the next person we got up here is Kimberly Lee. <laughs> Yeah. Um, who is also coming into the day uh, tied for first place. Yeah, has... presently sitting at third behind Emerald Phoenix and Abby. Yes, there we go. So we'll see what Kimberly can do. Um, see, yeah. if, see if can't strike back. Can Kimberly get enough points to reclaim first place? Not with the energy, at Not least. Not with the energy. Not well, so let's far. See. Although Box of disaster. Well, that doesn't seem like a good omen, does it? <laughs> you know, it oh, does. Oh, okay. do, you know what? But I see something sneaking out I, back I think there. So right. there is going to be right. something. There's a little bit of glimmer. Oh, oh the horsey. A, oh, this is a pretty good pack so far. Okay. Uh, the okay. Pete. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's adorable. adorable Pikachu. And, and let's see. Flourish! The Del Fox, which I dare say actually is not a very good pull. Oh, Points no. wise. But uh, we'll see. 
We'll see. We'll double check it. Maybe yeah. scooch over to two points or Coming something. Coming in at 52 cents. Rounds mm. up to one. Plus an additional two for the horsey and the wormpole. Going to bring you to 21 points on the season. Good enough to get back in second place, though. Very impressive. So they've passed Emerald Phoenix, who is now sitting at third overall. It's it's interesting to me how much of like a tight race it's sitting here at the top. Like, I know. Yeah. Nobody is just like blown away. Yeah, we're, it's still pretty close here uh, coming in at two... Uh, the end of the the end of the day. Next up is Alfion. Alfion, who is another new patron. Another new patron. Yeah. Alfion's this is gonna be your first pack of the season, but never to worry. There's always that strong possibility of just absolutely pulling something massive and and getting yourself just up breaking there. the game. Yeah. Maybe this is the alt art Giratina V. Hey, could could it be? We have we have pulled that one. We have pulled it. Yeah, we have pulled that in person. That was maybe the best card I've ever pulled. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So we're yeah. gonna get one, two, three, four, to the back and with the boom! flip. All right, we a got another, brawler. another brawler on the day. Okay, oh, there you okay, go. There's Coming a out point swinging. right out of the gate. Okay. And the Kamala, the mine for another the point. Snover, okay. Mm -hmm. A Palm Rosalina. Oh, oh Ray Ray Sneasler. Sneasler. There you go. That's we'll fun. We'll have to double check that one. So that's going to be at least worth a point, as well and as the a dust box. All right. So at so, least four points. Possibly the Radiant Sneasler scooches you up to five. Yeah, coming at fifty cents, the Radiant Sneasler. <coughs> All right. So it's a four, four point, point pack. pack there, but you do get one of the Radiant Pokemon, which is really fun. I know the artwork on these <coughs> is really kind of like neat and unique and different. Yeah. So definitely a cool card to have headed your way. Yeah. One of the cool things. So the Sneasler goes with the Electrode and the Parasect. They're all part of like one uh, really cool deck you can build, uh, which allows Electrode to just attack for so much damage. And then uh, the Sneasler adds on some poison on top to finish stuff off. Anyway, next up, Linwood. Linwood, six Linwood. points coming into the day from last week's episode. All right, so we got six points. Good, good striking point distance. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Let's see. Oh, I see at least one bonus point already, so we'll get to that in a second. We'll make sure I count correctly this time. Don't fail Linwood here with water now. So oh, <laughs> the harder you, the harder yeah, you flourish it. But Matsu was perfect. Oh, it's true, it's true. Okay, there There's we go. One Couple of on. on. Wind up arm. Oh, the, the love, love disc. disc. All right, all right. So Linwood's doing okay. The, the worm pole. All right, yes. Almost every other card has been a point now, and... Oh, the Trevenant. All right, so there we go. That's going to be four scoring cards, each worth a single point for four on the day, 10 on the season to Linwood, and a, uh, a Trevenant coming your way. There you are. All right. All right, Ben, you got Johnny. Johnny. Johnny, who might be competing down there from one of those last place boxes. Right now, I know. Johnny might even be looking for a low scoring pack at this Could point, be, could be. Know? I mean, there's a lot to be said for, I mean, like everybody's got a different mindset when it comes to something like this. And, you know, coming into it, just being like, I'm aiming for the bottom. Yeah. Is not a bad way, not a bad place to be. Cause the, you know, this is almost like betting against your favorite team. It's like, cause then, if they lose, it's like you win. You win. But then if they win, you lose. So I mean, there's that. But yeah. in, in this case, if you come in last, you do win. You so, do win. So yeah, yeah right. Bam. Very all right. Exciting. We got the fire are... energy. So a good start for last. A good. Oh, oh yeah. No, there's Leon. a point. I know. Yeah. Oh, you hate Johnny, to see you it. Hate to see points on yeah. the board. <laughs> Let's hope there's no Big other water guard, types in this particular pack. Jeez, man. Okay, we're doing pretty great. Oh, the oh, Wormpole. Worm is there going to be a point for you? All and right. I, there's going to be something else. Uh -oh. I can just... I, oh. oh, the Rotom. All right, so hurting Johnny's chances of last place overall. I, I, I don't know about this Rotom. I know the alt art is really uh, a big scoring point, but the, ro the the base one might be just a single point. It is just a single point mm. at 56 cents. We'll round itself up. Three points on the pack. Honestly, still pretty competitive for last place. So. Yeah. Yeah, five points on the day. Not not too bad, not too bad. Do we have anyone lower than five points? I'm not sure. Offhand. I don't know. So, Johnny, you know what? Despite your okay pulls, you might still be in good shape. Congratulations. Congrats, man. Joshua Craft come in on the day. It looks like with zero points. So I have to assume new patron as well. Let's see what we got here for Joshua. Wait, I feel like we had a whole bunch of big pulls and things have gone cold. It, well, you never know, Ben. We'll see. So I uh, whoop. Brawler. 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 Came to scrap. Got the damage pump. Good to okay. go with that yep. Zoroark, you know. Okay, I'm gonna have that. The Phantom, the Makuhita, the Electrike, the Murkrow, the Shuppet, 
Uh oh. Oh, oh man. Dear. Joshua coming in immediately claiming last place. Oh, you man. know Johnny hates to see that particular <laughs> that, that, pack I mean, come down the chute. Uh, we, we were thinking so highly of Johnny's positioning and everything, and like, here oh, yeah, comes no Joshua. One else just thought. like Josh was like, not to worry. I got I, it, man. I can, I can top that. You know what he can do? He can mimic you. Oh! oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Next up, a little bit more competitive player. We got Beck Squad coming into the day with 10 points on the season. Let's see yeah, let's if see. they can yeah, jump so, ahead. So we, have, we have two packs left. Beck Squad had to be on the top leaderboard for mm. the first episode of the season <clears throat> with that 10 points. Yeah. Very, very impressive first, you know, kind of right out of the gate. We'll see how we can do here. What is our current top positioning? Oh, uh, it was Abby at 20, like 24 points, I think, overall? Uh, yeah. Eight. Yeah. Okay. So, oh man, not, oh, not but you know what? We got the V-Star marker. Uh, so maybe maybe it's the, the secret V sauce. The C yeah, right. We'll see what it does for us. Okay, Iskin. Okay, okay. Okay, Panic Mask, Growlithe, C Dot, Slugma. Dynamo, Litleo, the oh, adorable oh. Pikachu, and uh, the oh. Electros. Oh gosh, back to back single point packs. Man. We almost went the whole day without any, and now we've had two in a row. So that brings Beck Squad up to 11 on the day. I so. do have to say that this Pikachu is one of my, like, my favorite Pikachu it, arts. Yeah. It's very cute. And we have pulled two of these today with the reverse hollow effect. Yeah. So that's cool. You get a really cute Pikachu card. A really card. cute Pikachu card. All right. But how are we going to close out the day, brother? We have got Peabody Coco coming into the day with two points. So, two, so had been competing for that bottom spot. Yeah. Yeah. So what's interesting here is we clearly didn't have a big Steve pack today. We did not in this go round. Meaning next week we will. Um, so we'll we'll get a better understanding of where the uh, the big Steve placing will go. Of course, it'll just change a lot every single time. But let's see. Let's see how Peabody Coco does. Can they bring us home with an exciting last pack on the day to close out after two single pointers? Nah, nothing on the type advantage. Man, so we the really type did not get a bunch of them. Didn't really uh, play it out today. Let's see what the Gastrodon and Hollywood. The Poly World gets you a point. That's a point. There's my Pikachu again. There it is. The Phantom. The Pseudo Wudo. Oh, this is a very Ben pack. It is know? a very Ben pack. Oh, there's I'll the play. Raichu. How about that? Which is a rare, so that gets you a point. And the Buffalot. So a little bit better than a single point, but not much. Not That's much. still just a three point pack. Kind of which... anticlimactic to close out the day. Just going to bring you to five points. On the season, either way. The uh, the exciting thing, though, is because we have had over 50 patrons sign up for this particular tier, uh, we will have an extra episode of Box Breakers coming out in the month of October. That's right. Again, if you are interested in seeing us open a pack for you here live on the show, then you can head on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and select the Box Breakers tier. Yeah, thank you to everyone who has been supporting the show so far. We are having an absolute blast making it. If perhaps we... Uh, we made brand new cards for the show. If we missed any of the points, we will catch them in post. So, you know, sorry in advance, but maybe we didn't and I'm just apologizing for no reason. Hey, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Maybe we're on top of our stuff. Maybe we are. We, we keep talking about as we continue to develop this game, the fact that we are basically like inventing a game a little bit mm. and we're like, why is there so many moving pieces? And it's like, because there are a lot of moving pieces. There's a lot of moving pieces in our game. <laughs> but it's been, it's been a lot of fun. I have yeah. absolutely enjoyed it. I feel like we've gotten to see some really cool cards come out. Cards that we haven't actually even pulled ourselves, which is even like cooler because it's like for, for us, a lot of these, like it's the first time we've ever gotten to see one of these cards in person. Yeah. Um, if you guys have any other thoughts or recommendations for the show, be sure to let us know in the towel section down below. Otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.